Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to take a look at a very exciting product that I've personally been waiting several months for since the release late last year. And that is the Dow Dynamics Hitch Mount LED Pod. Now chances are if you're watching this video, you know exactly the product that I am talking about, but if not, this is essentially the Dow Dynamics SSC1 LED Pod that fits into a standard two inch receiver on pretty much any make or model out there. Now today, obviously we're gonna be testing it out on a 2020 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Uh, so this is kind of specific to that in terms of the installation and the performance. However, this is a universal product that fits any regular two inch receiver with a seven pin trailering harness if you wanna make it the easy plug and play way. And it will also fit four pin applications if you modify the harness and kind of hook it up yourself to the four pin trailer wiring. Uh, however, the seven pin is definitely the way to go if you want an easy install. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with this product, there are actually two versions of the hitch mount, the C1 and the C1R. Now the C1R essentially adds the flashing brake light as well as the standard kind of solid brake light if you choose to use it in that fashion. Uh, but those are the two different versions and kind of what differentiates each of them. So the C1, the standard version, and also the cheaper version comes with a running light out back as well as the reverse light and the C1R adds the bright brake light illumination that can be used either as a strobe safety system or as just a standard solid illuminating brake light. Now, if you guys have pre-ordered or have been following this product, then you'll know that they have actually delayed shipping these out over the last couple of months due to kind of trying to figure out the updated uh, wiring harness situation. So I believe the kit that I will have today has the updated or as least as up-to-date as possible trailer wiring harness. Uh, but that was an issue in production that they did send out emails to anybody that has pre-ordered this product. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind if you kind of order this moving forward is that they're constantly kind of revising this product. There, there may be some delays in the future uh, because some of the vehicles I've read on their website actually do pick up that there is a trailer detected when you're using this product. So I'm sure they'll kind of figure out in the future how to get rid of that for most applications. Uh, when it comes to the Jeep Wrangler, that is not an issue. It does not pick up that a trailer is detected. Uh, so this is basically a plug and play application uh, with no faults or kind of messages on the dash that there is a trailer actually hooked up. But essentially that is kind of the overview of the Hitch Mount Dow Dynamics product. Now in this video, I wanna do an unboxing, quickly show you what comes in the box specific to the C1R. Uh, obviously show you how to install it and just how easy it is on the 2020 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon behind me. And also show you the performance of this LED pod, obviously here in the daylight as well as the nighttime, uh, just to see kind of how it affects the backup and reverse lights. This, this vehicle does have the LED factory uh, system from Jeep, uh, but also show you how it impacts the backup camera at night because this should add plenty of light to the rear of the vehicle. That definitely helps illuminate the ground and kind of the area around you behind the vehicle, which should in theory help the backup camera performance from the factory. So we're gonna test all of that out in this video. And again, hopefully you guys find this helpful, but let's not waste any more time and take a look what comes in the box and then get onto installing it in the vehicle. So essentially here is the hitch mount product itself comes in this nice box that kind of has some of the details about the product, including just how easy it is to install on most applications, five minutes or less. We'll definitely test that out. And I believe that to be very true as this is a fully plug and play product. So you can see nice box inside. You're immediately greeted to the hitch mount uh, kind of in this nice insert here with the LED pod itself. We'll go ahead and remove this, take that out. The pod kind of just falls out. And again, this is the SSC1 LED pod with the brake reverse and running light function, which we'll test out here in a little bit. And you also get the seven pin intermediate harness for the trailer riding on the vehicle. And lastly, it looks like you get a little bit of instructions here printed out, which is always nice instead of having them fully digital. Although I'm sure you can find them fully digital on their YouTube channel. Uh, but it is a very simple application, it basically goes over exactly what this product is. Once again, the harness comes out of the vehicle, goes into this, and then retains usage of the seven pin from the factory. So we'll go over how to install this, but overall this is a very easy install and one that should take less than five minutes. I do quickly wanna go over the LED pod. Now, obviously this is kind of the standard SSC1 single LED pod from Dow Dynamics, but they've kind of created this nice insert uh, that allows you to basically just slide it into a two inch receiver and it clicks in and kind of locks into place. Now there is some questions out there that I've seen and they have addressed them on their YouTube videos that what if you wanna use a locking pin in your trailer harness? Well, you can basically just cut off these two tabs on either side of the uh, plastic insert here 
and that will allow you to slide your pin through this system and basically lock it like a normal trailer hitch would. Um, so that is kind of the answer to that. So people don't easily steal this product. Uh, but you can just use it as is, uh, which I'll be showcasing in this video that kind of snaps into place very easy, has three kind of mount points and overall retains the kind of Dutch style connector on the rear. And here's the harness that comes with the kit. Obviously, like I said, it is a very short jumper harness, which is nice. Uh, this end, basically with the larger end, this will be the factory wiring that comes into the back of the hitch on your vehicle. This will plug in here. The shorter end will go back into where that plug came out of. And essentially this is just providing the power and the jumper harness to go to the Dow Dynamics pod from the factory wiring. I did touch on that there is a uh, purple wire here on this kind of box that is waterproof. Basically, if you leave this intact, how it comes, uh, this will enable the flashing brake light function. Uh, so essentially when you hit the brakes for the very first time, it will flash in quick succession and then go solid. Now, if you don't want the flashing function at all and just want to be solid every time you hit the brakes, essentially you'll need to cut this wire, uh, kind of tie up both ends, and this will just enable the brake light to function like a normal vehicle without any sort of flashing function. Obviously, you can reattach this at any time if you would like to re-enable the flashing function, but it's nice that it comes uh, that easy to kind of enable and disable as you would wish. And then there is about a two feet section, I'll have to measure this, that goes into the LED pod itself. It is a Dutch style connector, like I mentioned. Um, it looks very nice. These are very durable, very waterproof. So there shouldn't be any issues with water intrusion or anything like that. Uh, but obviously time will tell how durable uh, the system is. Again, this is a universal product, so it should fit in the standard length for any application that has a seven pin connector. But you can also buy an extension if you would like for this connection on their website uh, if you do need a little bit extra wiring. So here at the back of the Jeep Wrangler, obviously one important thing to note is not all Jeeps come with the trailer hitch as well as the seven pin connection. You have to have the trailering and auxiliary switch group from the factory to get not only the seven pin connection, but also the trailer hitch itself. Anyways, we do have that equipped on this vehicle. Now, obviously it does come with kind of this rubber flap that we will have to remove. I believe it's just a slip off application, so that shouldn't be an issue. And then here is the four pin as well as the seven pin connection, which we'll need to access from the backside to install this harness. So here is the seven pin connection. You can see it is very close to the exhaust. So I'd highly recommend not doing this when the exhaust is hot uh, to avoid burning yourself but I believe there is just a clip you slide back here and it'll kind of release the harness from the seven pin connection. So in this end, we will go ahead and plug into the larger end of the Dow Dynamics harness and then plug the shorter end back into the factory harness here. And that retains full functionality of the seven pin if you were to want to hook up a trailer harness using the outside connection here on the other side. Make sure it's nice and seated and plugged into place. Clicks into place just like that. You can see here is the extra wiring. I will have to see if I can bend it the other way and tuck it up here, kind of try to keep it out of the way of the exhaust as best as I can. But essentially here is the rest of the wiring loom. This will essentially feed into the back of the hitch, which is wide open, so that is nice to see. So first I'm gonna remove this kind of rubber cover here. You can see the plug is already here inside the hitch. Pull that through. This just slides off just like that, super easy. Plug this into the back of the pod. Make sure it clicks. Slide this back into the receiver. Clicks into place just like that, and the install is complete. Now, obviously, we need to make sure we have all the extra wiring tied up in the back of the hitch uh, secured out of the way. Uh, but essentially, that is all there is to it. You can see there is a little bit of wiggle with this kit uh, here on the Jeep Wrangler hitch, but overall, it's very nice. It sits exactly flush with the hitch. So um, in theory, if you were to back up into something, uh, not obviously that hard, but uh, fairly gently, it shouldn't impact or kind of hit the LED pod itself. Uh, but now that it is plugged in, let's go ahead and test it out and see how it works. So there's the running light on, brake light on, put it in reverse. I assume the pod should be on right now in reverse. Park. Put it in reverse once again. Okay guys, so I'm in this extremely dimly lit parking lot to test out the Dow Dynamics Hitch Mount LED Pod Kit. As you can see behind me, 
the running light is currently on because obviously the headlights and taillights running lights are on. Uh, so we're gonna put the camera down. Uh, I'm gonna unplug the light itself to test only the output from the stock factory LED setup on this Wrangler. Then we'll go ahead and plug it in, test the output with the pod installed, see how much greater it is behind the vehicle, and also take a look at the screen inside for the backup camera to see whether or not the pod itself um, kind of adds to the experience using the backup camera on the Jeep or it takes away because it puts so much light here on the ground, it kind of overexposes and kind of only focuses on where the pod light is shining. So we'll do all that here very quickly, see which one uh, kind of performs better, see what the real world use case is in this extremely dimly lit parking lot. This is about as dim as it gets without being pitch black and uh, just see how it performs. The output itself actually looks very good considering again, this is just the factory stock LED output. Um, I would say from a camera's perspective, it's very, very dim, but does an okay job exposing the pavement, not so much the objects around it. It definitely brightens up directly behind the Jeep on the camera. And I'm sure as you guys can tell, um, it's extremely bright from behind the Jeep. Uh, nobody's definitely gonna miss out on not seeing the Jeep that's backing up. And if you're looking using your eyes and not just the camera and the technology, it's definitely a huge win and a huge value add. Now, I do really commend Dow Dynamics for creating this product because I think it is a very neat product. It's very easy plug and play install, uh, even if it doesn't look the cleanest in terms of the wiring installation on this vehicle. It is a very good product. And as you guys saw from the footage, it provides a ton of output for the rear of the vehicle at night. And it also provides good safety if you choose to use the strobing brake light function or just add a fourth brake light like we are in this application, uh, just keeping another solid red brake light at the rear of the vehicle in addition to the normal LED brake lights that come standard or stock from the factory on this vehicle. So overall, I think it is a very good product. Um, I'm sure as time goes on, they will revise, implement new um, applications, maybe that ones that work better than others, and hopefully just make some new harnesses uh, for certain vehicles that may uh, clean up the installation and allow for a little bit better protection in terms of the wiring, especially for a Jeep Wrangler like this. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this install and found something helpful out of it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below as far as installing it here on the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, if you happen to have this product and have installed it on a Jeep Wrangler, let me know how you tied up the wiring and made it look a little bit nice or as nice as possible uh, considering the uh, kind of harness itself and how it fits inside the vehicle. But uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I appreciate the support as always and hope to see you guys in the next one.